Greetings, all who roam this world. So here at the Quest Rose, we've been having a debate ever since a uh, screw attack video came up uh, with the debate of Cloud versus Link. So today we are going to put this debate to an end. Representing Cloud Strife from the Final Fantasy series, we have the Rage Master himself. Damn. Yee! Representing Link, the hero of time, we have your boy, the Questmaster, Jared. Go! You suck! And. Thank you, guy in the audience. Thank you, mother. And to judge all of them through this debate, we have your judge, no! Judge Matthew. <laughs> So this debate will be debating who is a better fighter and warrior and just overall person. What the fuck are these, these, these papers? Yeah. What the fuck are these for? To look like you have stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew wanted paper. Matthew, you're an idiot. I mean, oh, I love you. <laughs> so you Link wins. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! The both of you are going to discuss the history of your character, give some background. Matthew is the most um, unbiased to both of these franchises. Because I don't care. Because he does not care. Oh, shit. I'm going to pull up that, uh, what, Star Bomb video? So you are to Quick give... history of Cloud. <laughs> you are to give a brief history of your character and then defend your, your character for the argument and then rebuttal against your opponent. You are, all, of course, allowed to object to anything if Matthew allows it. Um, any questions? Why is Jared such a bitch? Why is the sky blue? You know, uh, let's just get started. The atmosphere. <laughs> okay, the all right. Jared. Jared, right. go. go. Link started out as a character back in 1984 for the Legend of Zelda game. which. Okay, started... let's not do that. Let's ha start with <laughs> in-game history, okay? Well, it depends on which game we're going with. <laughs> Link was once the son of <laughs> you. You guys didn't specify history, and Anthony didn't specify this, but we're using them from all of our games. So if we were to every up. game that Cloud was in, including Kingdom Hearts, technically I can use, and vice versa, every game that Link's in. He can use. Including Soul Calibur. So, Hell yeah. If you really want him to tell the whole history of Link, we're going to be here for 30 minutes. That's yes. why I brought this. We the Holy Bible. of the timelines. Okay. There's Eight. like six timelines. Three. Three. There's one timeline that branches into three hey, timelines. Jared speaking. As my, as my opponent has said, yes, it starts off as one timeline into Ocarina of Time, which splits into three. Which would be the... Child era, adult era, and death era. And so, if we're going with all of them combined, Link was the son of a noble until his parents were murdered, at which point he still went on to become a knight for Hyrule, at which point he has, brought on, he has sent on a quest to rescue Princess Zelda, or in some cases, go on a quest for her to retrieve some items that will eventually lead to him obtaining the Triforce. Did that help? Was that brief enough? Yes. Okay. Dan. So, in 2006, <laughs> Cloud Strife, uh, main protagonist of Final Fantasy VII and kind of side character in uh, Crisis Core, which main protagonist is Zack. Zack. Um, yeah. Is he actually has a last you? name, but I don't like him as much as Cloud. Anyways, uh, Cloud introduces himself to the Avalanche Gang, a member of an elite unit called, uh, as a former member of an elite unit called a soldier, which is basically an uh, army that tries to take over the whole world in the end, and Cloud kicks the shit out of them. Spoiler. And he has to save the planet from getting blown up by his nemesis, Sephiroth. Which he successful does. Okay. At some point in that story, he gets transferred to um, 
Olympus, where he meets Sora from Kingdom Hearts, and he gets summoned by um, the main protagonist of Final Fantasy Tactics, War of the Lions. He gets summoned into the game. You know, Squeenix helps from with the summoning of the that. future. So, yeah. Okay, cool. Let's take a lunch break. 20 minutes later. Okay, Jared, why do you think Link is better? Well, let's start off with the morals of each character. First... No. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not do more. Uh, even if you wanted to, the morals of Cloud aren't anything less than Link's, to be honest. Cloud just wants to save the world. This is fair. From an alien who wants to destroy the world. Wasn't Let's Sephiroth... Let's with powers. Powers. Well... What does the Triforce do for Link? The Triforce grants one wish to whoever oh, touches okay, it. Oh, okay, we're ignoring wishes. That's yes, right. okay. that's why we discuss. So, off-screen we discuss kind of rules. In Final Fantasy, you can summon things like gods and death himself. So we decided because death himself would just kill Link instantly if Cloud summoned him, I can't use death to just come down and kill Link instantly. And Link can't use the Triforce wish to just wish Cloud away or put him in prison or something or make him so he can't do something. Okay. Describe Link's abilities. Link's abilities. Well, being a child of the forest, he's able to walk within the Koryuki forest without being turned into a Skull Kid. Which How does that help him in a fight with Cloud? It doesn't. Get him in the forest. Eventually he'll just okay. wither and die. I mean, okay. if Link knows it like the back of his hand. If you run away like a bitch, why does Cloud have to follow you like a bitch? That's not... Okay. Ignored. Okay. <laughs> oh. Turn. All right. Uh, let's see. Outside of that, base powers are... Well, he is also a ranch hand for a long time, which gives him base strength to stop a literal charging goat, which is about the size of a cow. Okay. And that's base strength. Okay. Not to mention uh, climbing abilities, as we have seen in Breath of the Wild. They suck. Continue. <laughs> well, in rain, yes. <laughs> but then again, it's almost always raining in Even normally, they kind of suck. <laughs> True. <laughs> Let's see, what else? Swimming capabilities. Link is able to swim for an indiscernible amount of time. Okay. Diving, however, he requires a Zora scale in order to dive down... For about, I want to say, six seconds. That sucks. Yes, it That's does. terrible. I can hold my breath longer than that. <laughs> this is also <laughs> diving. I don't think that it's doesn't different. matter. It's not, there's no difference. <laughs> True. Okay, continue. Alrighty. Uh, he is well with animals, as we've seen with Epona, not to mention the three animal characters you encounter within the Game Boy Advance games. So, is he Anthony from our D&D campaign? He essentially. Okay. No, he's not. <clears throat> he doesn't just... Turn Shut up! Him. Never mind. Because, yes, because Link is a little prettier than Anthony's character. <laughs> I'm sorry, Anthony. Damn. I'll, I'll let that one go. I'm not the judge. Not, not including his master of swordsmanship, even at a young age. There is... Nothing much left. Okay. Yeah. Keep it short and simple. Cloud has superhuman strength. Superhuman? Describe it. Let's just say, essentially, every mean, battle with Sephiroth is basically him flying because his speed and strength allows him to basically fly. If he swings his sword hard enough, it propels him further enough. So he has strength that literally breaks so physics Thor? and speed. Yeah, that literally breaks physics. Um... Does he ride his sword like the hammer? No. Uh, then he has the ability to use materia, which are these things that give you spells and summon capabilities and healing capabilities and Final Fantasy. Yeah, I'm not going to use those. Those are dumb. Um, and then he has the ability of the Omni Slash, which is basically just his superhuman strength and speed being mashed together so he can attack you with 15 different swords 15 different times in a matter of a fraction of a second. Okay. Rebuttal. He also is a master swordsman, just like Link. 
and he can hold his breath longer than six seconds. That was also a child length, by the by. All right. I, well, I'd like to call a witness to assist in my rebuttal. Okay, I'll allow that. No. What? No more witnesses. Oh. Okay then. Same for you. No more witnesses. I didn't even call one yet. I don't care. <laughs> well then. We're running out for everyone. <laughs> yes. Anyways, let's get down to the fighting. Okay. So, can Link. So, so he can. Cloud can move at superhuman speeds. Can Link stop that? What do you think? Yes. Stasis. Are you talking about from... The stasis rune from Breath of the Wild allows... Can that affect living beings? Yes, it can. Yeah, when you upgrade it, but only for f very, very, very little time. It's still enough to uh, counteract any charge that... Clint That's right. Had. The stronger <clears throat> an opponent is... But... Cloud or Link himself doesn't have superhuman speed or strength, so you stasis me just this distance for like 0 0.01 second because of how powerful Cloud is. Because the stronger an opponent in Breath of the Wild, the less time that it actually stasis is them. So you stasis me from there 0 0.01 seconds, and that's being generous seeing how powerful Cloud is. He breaks out of it instantly. Superhuman speed keeps going while your stasis has to recharge. Now you're too busy trying to stasis me. You have your stupid tablet out. You go to put it away. My sword's in your chest. It would have almost made more sense to summon a billion bombs but, but, and kill yourself. But, but Link can one-hand a sword. He can. And he can also run. Yeah, but a sword's not an issue. If he's holding up the tablet, that means his shield is gone. But he still has sword and if it's at that distance it's... but he's human or well Hylian he's normal I can wield a or Cloud can wield a sword at superhuman speeds and strength so he hits it away and stabs Link I mean I'd also like to argue the Vigoron sword as I will soon find oh but okay. Vigoron's sword is also two-handed two-handed yes which also would take away your unbreakable shield. This is true. Which doesn't matter anyways, because with superhuman speed, I could just run around him and backstab him. Okay, so off screen, Anthony showed us a picture of Hit from... Uh, just put the picture on. Now I'm going to go okay. make the donuts. Here. This picture here, it was Hit from uh, Dragon Ball Super. What happened was Hit has the ability to stop time for a second. But Goku was so strong that he could move through Hit's time skip. The world though. Yeah. Yes. So basically, a character can become so powerful that time itself cannot stop them. They go through it. Okay. And um, Cloud's ignored. basically yes. that strong. What do you mean ignored? Conjecture. Okay. Continue. <laughs> well, outside of the big Goron sword, uh, let's not forget the uh, Goron Crusher, which is a claymore. It is also two-handed, but it is quick to equip once he... Quicker than Cloud can zoom? Can zoom? Zoom. Well, when you think about it, once Link goes into his inventory, time stops. Shit, you right. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's a, I, that's a, I know that is a uh, BS Shit, I'll statement. allow that. <laughs> I know that's a BS statement. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. I'll, I'll allow it. How? <laughs> Why? Why even allow that? You also, we also have I'm to the judge here. But I want to know why. You don't need to know why. 
That doesn't even make sense. I'm the judge. When you think about the combat scenarios that these two have gone through, Cloud is more... He has to wait his turn in a rotation, more okay. much like D&D. Have you ever played any Final Fantasy game? I know Final Fantasy VII. So it, you would know that Final Fantasy VII's not more or less turn-based, that you have a limit meter and a time meter, which goes up over time, and when that time meter is good, you can attack, right? And it's kind of live. So if you don't do anything with your characters, the monster can attack you over and over and over and over again without you taking your turn. This is true. That's the same with any turn based though. No, it's not. I'll show you. <laughs> turn base would stop when you didn't take your turn. Okay. In this, it's kind of live action. So no, he doesn't have to wait his turn for you to hit him. This isn't fucking a this playground is not game. Based, Jared. No. Yeah, this isn't no playground game, boy. This is kind of a playground argument when you think about it. It's like a smash it. game. Yeah, more They're or fighting less. each other in smash. Also, I didn't even get into the depth of his limit breakers, which are just moves that break physics. Like one of them summons a meteor from the sky. The Omni Slash, which is his ability to hit you 15 times within a fraction of a second. Oh, the Omni Slash, but the other thing I'm not going to. Meteor? Yeah. Why? That's Some, one of his... Summoning the Meteor. So? Yeah. What? Why? That's like, one of I'm his... I'm allowing the Omni Slash. You can fucking... That's one of his, like, famous moves. Meteor. And it's one of his meteor limit... Meteor Strike. Yeah, it's one of his limit breakers. Honestly, though, Fine. you're not going to allow that? Jesus Christ. That's the point, though, that Cloud has all these fucking absurd abilities that are way stronger than Link in every way, and... Can he just... use it in Smash? He does use... He, he, does, he use... does use Omni Slash, uh, yes. and... What is it? Wind Slash or something? Wind Scar or something like that. Which is the one where he swings his sword so fast that... a oh, jet of air comes off and hits someone does damage. Gotcha. So That's how Link's strong boomerang. he is, by the way. No, stronger than that. Link's boomerang. Alright, sure. Okay. Well, Let's we... talk durability. What's the greatest thing that you've ever survived? Well, since where are you, Judge? Let's talk durability. <laughs> <laughs> well, when we're considering how Child Link literally fell down a great chasm and then ended up in another world, I'd say that's the durability that he has as a child. So you're saying it's increased as an adult? Yes. All Fair right. enough, okay. Very much. Cloud survived a supernova explosion. What? <laughs> Wait, how big? Supernova. Like, like an actual star or like a small star? Our sun. So what happens in the end so of... So he failed to save the Earth? No, he doesn't. It's... It's complicated. It sounds complicated. Please explain. Yes. I'm, so I'm curious. At the end of Final Fantasy VII, Sephiroth g gains the ability of the god of the universe, essentially. He becomes god, like from Christianity, and the devil mixed together, all okay. at one. Uh, he has a move called Supernova, which he shoots a ball at the sun and creates a supernova explosion. Which cloud lives? Isn't this also the same move that just create that just turns Jupiter into a donut? Yes. Ah. Thank you for proving my point even more. Cloud survives that. But the Where rest was of the it universe. When the supernova hit him. Uh. Well, when he when, of course, when he caused the supernova, the sun actually expands and eats up Mars and Venus or Mercury and Venus. Sorry. And um, it also sucks in cloud when that Suck. happens. And it just kind of condenses and explodes. So. He, he was on Earth. Yes. Oh, okay, that's not impressive. No, he was in space, actually. He's in space when it happens. That's not impressive, then. What? Why? It's just radiation. But he's right next to the sun. It's still just pretty much just radiation. He also... It's also a supernova explosion. It's also space! He also failed to stop said explosion from destroying a good chunk of the solar system and most of the people on Earth. 
Yes. So, no. Sorry. Well, let's see what else. Um, well, let's just say Link can survive a drop from the sky with a parachute that is literally a bed sheet. No. Oh, yeah. The moon. He didn't survive the moon. No, he didn't. But he stopped it. He did stop, stop the moon. Stop the moon. Also, I wouldn't consider that the moon. It's more like a demon possessing the moon. Which would be Majora, I would say. I think I've heard enough. Can I call another witness? No. no. Okay. Um. I'm gonna, have to, give it, I'm gonna have to give it to Cloud. I didn't even use any materia yet, which gives me the ability no, to. No, I was ignoring materia, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, which gives him just a bunch of spells. He can raise dead. Which is just the fact that he can fly so fast or move so fast. And strong. That's fair. And fair. Yeah. survive a supernova explosion at point blank. He still failed to save everyone. I'm just kidding. Yeah. He doesn't fail to save everyone. Still, he, does, he fails to save the sun and probably the earth because of supernova. But and Jupiter. Still. And I think Neptune. He would, he would still beat Link, even yeah. though Link has actually saved people. Cloud saved people. Okay, anyway. <laughs> the argument of Cloud versus Link. Judge Matthew has declared that Cloud Strife to be the winner. Boy shaking. I didn't even try. No more arguing. Damn. Okay. Thank you all for watching this heated argument and debate. Hardly. Hardly. <laughs>